welcome to Conversations with KMK Rider. And every week I talk with Vermonters who are leaders in the fields of government, healthcare, education, the arts, and community life. And also welcome to our radio listeners every Monday morning at 11 a.m. on WBTV LP 99.3 FM. My guest is Phelan Fretz, who is the executive director of the Lake Aquarium and Science Center for the Leahy Center from Lake Champlain. Welcome. Thanks, Kay. Great to be here. I always love to come back. Oh, love to have you, Phelan. <laughs> love to have you. Yes, now, uh, and I see you brought me some things to play with. I brought you some with. toys today. We've got some, a lot of fun things going on ah, uh, for the summertime. You're, you're the only person I get, I have, you know, you have such interesting things. Yeah. Well, you know, we're a science center, there you so go. <laughs> we've got stuff. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, where is Echo located, Phelan? So Echo is, of course, at the bottom of the hill right in Burlington, at the bottom of College Street. Um, if, you, if you drop a little water somewhere, it always rolls downhill and probably <laughs> you'll land at Echo. Okay. Uh, what days and hours are you open? Um, every day of the week, uh, 10 to 5. Great. Great. That's good. Now, uh, and you have parking around there? Absolutely. There's lots of parking on the waterfront, oh, multiple, okay. multiple lots. Great. Now, I know that Echo always has special exhibits, and this summer's exhibit is titled, How People Make Things. Tell our audience about this exhibit. I mean, uh, what do you make? So, um, the, the exhibit's a really wonderful exhibit. It actually was uh, created by uh, Pittsburgh Children's Museum. And uh, it so happens that they built it a couple of years ago, but of course this year is the 50th anniversary of the launch of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And if some of you will remember, if you wind back, and that's one of the reasons why the neighborhood trolley is on the table in front of us. Some of you might remember the trolley that uh, went from the real world to the make-believe world yeah. in Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Um, he would often go to a factory like a crayon factory and take children through the process of how you make things. And so this exhibit is inspired by Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And so when you come into Echo, you might, you might use a mold and actually pour wax into it and create your own, your own, your own, your own uh, little leaf out your, of a, your sculpture. Uh, your yeah. sculpture. Yeah. Or you might actually, there's another place where we, um, you can stamp out, um, out, of a, out of a piece of paper and then you put together a horse like this. Right? So you know, there's all kinds of different ways. There's, it's about people making things. There's another place where you take a coin, right, like a penny, and you change its shape. Mm -hmm. So it's about molding something, changing its shape to make it useful for other ways that humans might use it. Okay, now I, I also know that you have, uh, you have something here for me to look at, and we're going to play with this in a minute. Uh, but actually, another question is, you mold, you mold liquids, is that what you mold? Yeah, there's, there's actually this wonderful wax that's very low temperature wax so nobody will get hurt, right? Because you you've got lots of fingers. Um, it's, it melts just, just a little warmer than, than your tem our temperature, 98.6. So you can melt this and you actually scoop it out and then you get to pour it in a mold and you make this shape. Right, that's in the mold. So you can actually see when we manufacture something like a, like this piece of plastic here. This is actually is a metal mold, and they pour plastic inside of this mold to create this thing. Mm -hmm. So it really gives everybody a chance to say, what does it mean to manufacture something today? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now uh, this this is this is an interesting little item here, and I think it's probably time for us to go to this. Now can you, uh, before, we, before we start with it, can you tell me a little bit, uh, how does this fit in? So, um, so we do all year long, we do of course a lot of science education. And today people might know the word STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. Yep. Um, and the idea is there that kids need lots and lots of skills around what does a what does a, an engineer or a scientist do? And so this tool here, we actually give this challenge, which is, okay, so you got a bunch of fish and they're all swimming up the river and you, and you have a dam, right? You've got a dam in the way, so the fish are swimming along here and they can't get past the dam. So how do you, how do you get them to move over the dam? Mm -hmm. Well, so we give them this contraption, which is basically a hydraulic arm and a lot of different materials such as all these pieces here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then they take those different pieces and they try it out. And the goal is to move the fish 
over the dam. And they might try all kinds of different ways of attaching different things so they make it work. Can mm -hmm. you give me a hand with this today? Sure. So sure. if you hold it up like this and yep. then scoop it down into the fish over there. Yep. <clears throat> and then, let's see if I can get it. Whoops. You know, so it's, it needs a little prototype here. If you just pick it up a minute, yeah, for some reason it's just <laughs> stuck here a little bit. We're stuck a little bit. Oh. <laughs> the there people, we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So let me open it up. Okay. And if you scoop over there, we open it up, and then you pick oh, up. Oh, look at that. So we got the fish. Oh, let's do that right. again. That's and fun. So, <laughs> you know, you, you, you open. And, of course, kids love all this technology. They're putting right. this together. Yep. Right? So how do you make, how do, what's this hydraulics? What is hydraulics? How do you make this arm? How do you make this that holds the piece? together do I use a, a piece of piece like this or do I use a piece like this or do I use a combination of these mm -hmm. in order to make the scoop and mm -hmm. then they test how many so then we, we challenge them to say how many fish can you pick up at one time how many fish can you pick up in multiple times uh -huh. right and it's all about using this mechanical arm to open and oh, close. Oh that's good I, I didn't right? get that many. Right? There we go. So, there you oh, go no. so this time you got one you know, maybe next two. time you're going to try for or I got two. two. Let's Whatever try it again. Got. Let's try okay. it again. Open Let's it see up. See what I can do. They're Open all, it up. all over in the corner, Phelan. <laughs> They're all over in the corner. Gracious. Okay, here we go. There we go. Oh. And we didn't oh. get any. <laughs> I found out. Oh, look at that. But you know, this is how engineers okay. work. Is they here we go. they continue. Oh, look, look at, at this. That. Look at the pile yeah. you got today. This yeah. time. Yeah, that's great. Right. That's great. So we just keep testing, and the kids play, and they work. And the, for us, for when a school crew comes. That, you know, we might set up, we set up about 10 of these or 15 of these in a room. And so groups of two students are working together. And that's how we build things. Is, right. You know, you come together, you try to build it, you test it, you go, well, I, maybe if we change it this way, it'll work better. You change it, and then you come back and you try it again, and you try it again. And we call that rapid prototyping, mm -hmm. and it makes the best uh, uh, ultimate product because you're testing along the way right? to right. make sure that and it's we have doing to the right learn, work. We have to think, learn that things don't work sometimes. That's right. In fact, one of the greatest things in science is when it doesn't work. Yep. Because that teaches you as much or sometimes even more than when it does work. When I worked at American Cyanamid, I was making chemicals, rubber chemicals. And everything I made blew up. And I mean blew up. <laughs> <laughs> but we learned. Right. We learned we couldn't do it that way. So right, it, right. it is interesting. Now, uh, you've talked about uh, it's so important for kids today to learn about science, technology, and how things are made because, you know, we have less and less contact with, with farms and with, with factories and all these places, and people go to the store and buy things, or they buy it online. Right. And that's what's so important about a science center. And that's why ECHO is there. In fact, how people make things, you know, we've, we brought to it, actually brought it to everybody um, with uh, great support from Vermont PBS. Because as you know, uh, PBS was the originator of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And so right. what better partner to have for bringing this exhibit out into the public than Vermont PBS. And they've been a great, they've been great fans, of course, of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and all the children program for all these years. And now they have an opportunity to come right into our space and say, and this is how it really works when you really have kids circling around a table and solving real, real world problems. Great. And so without Vermont PBS, it would, you know, wouldn't have been quite as strong a weekend, I mean a, a summer, because they know the stories behind Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and his trolley. Right now, will the, will the kids be able to, to take something home with them? Now this is very important. You know, actually, you know, so when you come there, you actually build the trolley. So here there are pieces of it. Um, and then we actually ask you to take apart the trolley so the next person can build the trolley. But there are things like this horse where you actually stamp a horse and then you can take this home. Uh -huh. Or we actually, another stamp is um, a tiny box and you make your own little box, right? Um, oh. And all this is designed around how Mr. Rogers thought about and how he thought about the emotional well-being of kids and how careful he was about helping them understand their world. Well, right. we're trying to do the same thing about how does how do we make things as humans? Right now, um, Mr. Rogers. Let's talk about Mr. Rogers yeah. now. Do you have a big, great big uh, plastic statue of him there someplace? Actually, as you walk in, um, you can come into you can come into Echo, and there's a bench. And you can sit next to Mr. Rogers and have a conversation ah. and tell him, tell him about your time and maybe the time that you, you know, 
he has such amazing stories. I mean, he, first of all, he was, he was really ahead of his time. You know, so much brain science now about the importance of birth to three years old, how the formulative, those formulative age. Um, and, you know, he was really about the emotional well-being. And, you know, some people talk about he talks so slowly and so carefully. But, you know, for a small child who's trying to figure out the world, and then he would do really important parts of his show, like, for instance, when Bobby Kennedy was assassinated, he did a show about assassination. Or he did a show about, you know, the drain in the bottom of your tub? Some kids would get afraid of that drain. Like, am I going to get sucked out of that drain? Well, he did a show about <laughs> the toilet, where, yes. the wa right, yeah, where that yeah. water goes, and it's okay. You won't get hurt. Um, you know, he just had this incredible way to take a topic, and he's, you know, he wanted to always be very clear with kids. This is what it's about. You know, he did shows about divorce. What does mm -hmm. that mean? You know, divorce is not... It's not the child's responsibility. It's not because of you. Mm -hmm. It's because of, you know, your, your parents are not happy together. I think, I think he also came back to do a special show after 9-11. Is that true? Yes. He's actually, he's, there's been a couple of special shows that he's been able to come back and really that, that personality that, you know, it was, I think it was in 1969 when he went in front of the Senate um, and they were getting ready to cut funding for uh, PBS across the country. And he sat in front of those senators and told them about how important this work was. And they simply melted. There was just no, because he's so earnest mm -hmm. and so careful, but so deliberate. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, I, I always have a couple of, there's, we all probably have a favorite Mr. Rogers quote. Oh, sure, sure. You know, can I read one? Sure. You know, just, I've got a pile here, but, you know, I, I, some of these you might really know from, you know, his time. Um, here's, here's from Mr. Rogers. I don't think anyone can grow unless he or she's loved exactly as he or she is now, appreciated for what he is rather than what he will be. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Read another one, so, by all means. Yeah, all means. I think, another uh, let's see, where's, oh, this is one of my favorites. Um, <clears throat> so, there are three ways for ultimate success. The first way is to be kind. The second way is to be kind. <laughs> and the third way is to be kind. Yes, Mr. Rogers. Absolutely. That's marvelous. Now, he was certainly a, uh, he was a unique man. And he, he, he encouraged children to find exciting things uh, in, in their own homes and where they live and to share and to work together. And uh, why is it so important for children to work together and share the glory? Why is that so important, Phelan? Yeah, you know, um, I think one of the things that we try to do at, at ECHO, and it sort of really dovetails with that, is we're about a family coming together and learning together. And this exhibit, how people make things, because of the inspiration of who brought it to really to us, who, con who, who came up with this idea, Fred Rogers did 50 years ago. Um, but that moment where families are sharing in both the challenges, you know, this little activity we did, we, you and I just had a little challenge there, right? It didn't work quite right. <laughs> That's part of it. You know, families need to have those spots where it's a little tough, and then you work together and you work through and you solve it. And so kids learn that, you know, that's possible, that adults can come, adults and, fa and kids can come together and solve problems together. But they also know that it can be a little tough and I can be a little stressed and I can, maybe I'll cry sometimes and, you know, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, and that's, I think, the beauty of what he brings to us and how we, the, the crucible, that we try to build for our children, you know, this wonderful space so that they can grow and as they're beginning to understand themselves and understand their emotions, which I think is the most important thing he gave us. When I used to do things with my grandchildren when they were little, um, we would try things and something would you know, not work. I would say, hmm, well, that didn't work, did it? We'll have to try something else, you know. <laughs> I'd laugh. And, well, that's why, you yeah. know, like kitchen chemistry. Oh, there's nothing better than making pancakes together mm -hmm. or making a cake and kind of, what, oh, we oh, put yeah. too many eggs in and now it didn't oh, yeah. quite work out. Oh, well, we'll try again. Yep. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and uh, cooking is chemistry. And for our radio listeners, I am talking with Phelan Fretz, who is the executive director of the Echo Science Center in Burlington on Lake Champlain.
Now then, let's let's go on here now. Another quote from Mr. Rogers, please. I love Mr. Oh, Rogers. Oh, okay. Let's see. What else do I have here? Um, here's one, Mr. Rogers. There is no person in the whole world like you, and I like you just the way you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't that important? That's so wonderful. Oh my, where where would someone call? They got information about Echo and this great, great exhibit, Mr. Rogers, and uh, science and, and pu putting things together and all that stuff. And where would they call out? So I know you have a great website. We have a great web website at EchoVT or EchoVermont.org, um, or you can call us at 864-1848, and one of our wonderful uh, front desk staff will help you find out what you need to find out about today. Great. Now you said this can come apart. <clears throat> yes. And so this is actually a trolley, and, and when, you, when you come to the exhibit, it's actually in pieces. Ah. And I'm going to actually pull the top off here, and it's all going to fall apart. Okay. Oh. Uh, see? And, it, you, and so the, the challenge is, we challenge the, the, the young children to figure out how to put it all together. It's a lot of pieces. But you know, the best thing is, it takes more than one set yep. of hands. Yep. Somebody and that's has how to it's help. designed. Before, so you yeah. hold that side, yeah. I hold this side, yeah. Yeah. and that's how it all that's comes together. That's why it together. all comes together. Right. And yeah. so, Whoops. oh, there we well, go. Well, there we go. Oh, that no. didn't work, did so, it? Well, and so the, <laughs> the, why it's always good is, when you have multiple fingers yep. all building it together, yep. then you put your side in. Yep. I'll put there my side in. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, we're so good at failing. There we go. We're a team. We're a team. And we're a team. That's, that's what, important. That's what we love to have people do is, is work together. And that's why, and this really is, that's why, that's what Mr. Yeah. Rogers wanted to do. And it's such a cute trolley. Yeah. A red trolley. And it says neighborhood trolley, just like just like Mr. Rogers. Great, wonderful. We need to move on. <laughs> yes. Uh, Echo has much more than than a special exhibit. Uh, you have an everyday calendar, calendar of events. There's a lot going on at Echo. Yeah. So if you know, you can always check the the, the at five o'clock the day before. We put the whole calendar up on the website, so you can find it. Where, but there's live animal feedings. Um, live animal care demonstrations. We'll do demonstrations like this one I showed here today, mm -hmm. where you mm -hmm. you can you and your family can tackle an engineering challenge. Yeah. Um, or you can go to a film. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got two films that. Uh, let's see. This summer we're running Africa and and and, and a film about space. Space. Um, and Great. they're both just really amazing. Twenty two minutes. Uh, 3D. We have a special the Northfield Savings Bank um, Theater, and that makes people to sort of step into this space, and with surround sound be wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, right. Great. Um, surround sound is great stuff. Now, Phelan, how long have you been the executive director at Echo? For a, a pretty long time. Oh, I, come I on, came no, here. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're both got a little bit of gray here. Oh. So, um, actually, I came here in 2002 and we opened up the new uh, Echo building, uh, the Leahy Center for Lake Champlain in 2003. Okay. So I've been the executive director all these years. It's been a great ride. Great. Now, Phelan, every place has funny things happen. <clears throat> what are a couple of the funniest things that have happened at Echo since you've been there? Well, you know, I was thinking the other day, um, it was a couple of years ago, I was sitting on the steps and I was working, it was like one of these projects where I had a bunch of kids and period, you know, I love to go out on the floor and just start to work with families because you just learn so much and the excitement. So we had a bunch of kids all around us and then all of a sudden, you know, we're working away and I'm really focused and we're all focused and all of a sudden their heads pop up um, and <clears throat> I thought they were all looking at me going, oh, what? and they started laughing and I'm going like, what, what, what did I do that? I mean, we're just, we're doing an engineering challenge here. What, uh, what was so funny? Did I, you know, my, did I, do I have my glasses on sideways? Uh, you know, whatever, is my hair standing straight up? What's going yeah, on? Yeah. Well, actually, one of my staff was behind me and they had, they had, they were handling a live animal. So all the animals, of course, all the, the kids went, looking at him. what is going on behind him? Um, and we're looking at that and. You know, I, I had no idea that the staff member had snuck oh, yeah. up behind oh, yeah. me. Well, that would be marvelous for yeah. kids, though. Yeah. All oh, right. kids right. would the, just, oh, they the, would eat that the surprise. up. surprise. They would, they would absolutely eat that one up, Phelan. I mean, I can, <laughs> I, I, I uh, Well, um, they got, they got me, the staff got me good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd been there to see that, Phelan. You have to invite that staff person. That's right. Oh, Next yes, time yes. I interview you. Well, yes, you know, yes. <laughs> and, and humor actually is one of our core values at Echo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it's one of the key things for us about 
keeping a sense of humor and using humor as a tool uh, um, and uh, as in our education process yeah. every day. You and I have always laughed a lot yeah, on this show. It's always fun. It's, a, it's interesting, isn't it, that, that uh, certain things lend themselves to, to humor and, and, uh, and uh, learning can, can, can do that. And children's work is learning. I mean, that's right. for sure. Now, your summer camp, briefly. Oh, summer camps are, you know, they're just getting started next week already. Um, we've got camps that are engineering camps for young women. Um, we've got engineering camps for both boys and girls. We've got, we've got frog camp, we've got turtle camp, we've got marine biology camp, lots of different camps. Um, some, of them are, some of them are full already, um, but there's still some spaces. I was just looking at that the other day and thinking about this. Um, so, and the camps are, of course, you know, eight to, eight to three every day, right. um, and with an extension to five if, if parents need, um, but they're just activity all day long, like right. projects mm -hmm. like we worked on right. here. Now, what is, what is your mission? Tell me briefly, what is your sure. mission? Sure. You know, our, our mission is, the, is, is all about three important words, and it's about the joy of scientific discovery, wonder of nature, and the care of Lake Champlain. That's great. So it's great, really wonderful that Echo is on the shores of Lake Champlain. That's right. I mean, clearly, Lake Champlain is part of what we do every day, but we also do a lot of science education. And so um, experiences like um, how people make things are now more and more, more and more, you'll see more of this because we're trying to think about STEM education and the role of engineering and mm -hmm. what does that mean for us. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was interested that you said you spoke slowly uh, because, because when children learn to read, they need, they need to read slowly. They, they, um, you know, they don't start out fast usually. And it's very important. I have a low voice, so I have always talked slowly. Mm. And you know, uh, I, just, I just think that it's so, it's so good to go slowly and repeat sometimes. That, that's it's it's just too. an important thing to make sure yeah. people are understanding they're with you. Yeah. Um, you know, they may have questions. When you pause, you're giving the other person a chance to step into that space and inquire and be part of the conversation. Right. Um, it's all sort of tools that I know our education staff and our animal care staff are very good at sort of how do you create a moment mm -hmm. where the, the group of people can learn together if they're looking at a bullfrog. Right. 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 Yeah. Now, uh, you said that you were ahead of the curve on learning for, for young children. And uh, Janet Munt, who ran the, uh, the uh, children's programs at the VNA, she was right. ahead too. She yes. always said these early years are the most important. Well, children have learned a tremendous amount by the time they get to school. I think there's a revolution in our culture going on right now where we've got schools for <clears throat> basically 5 to 17 years old. And the revolution is the importance of birth to three or four oh, years yeah. old. Oh, and yeah. I think that's the revolution that's going to happen here. The, re the recognition about the kinds of res societal resources mm -hmm. that we should be applying. And that's why a place like ECHO, a science center, can play a major role. We, we saw last year 167,000 people came to, to ECHO, 75,000 children. Ah, uh, my. What a marvelous stat. What it, a marvelous stat. It's amazing, that's, that's it's really amazing to us that that many people want to come and have a group experience, a family mm -hmm. experience, science, learning together, yeah. having fun together. I think that a lot of parents work, and I think they don't have time to do these special projects. So Phelan, we have come to the end of another marvelous show Oh, here. this is always so much fun. I know, I know. <laughs> and to go out, why don't you read a couple more, Mr. Rogers? <clears throat> I would love to. Let's I see what I've got here. <clears throat> There's Mr. Rogers once again. I think it's very important, no matter what you, you may do professionally, to keep alive some of the healthy interests of your youth. Children's play is not just kid stuff. Children's play is rather the stuff of most future inventions. Right. One more. Oh, okay. I love this. All right. Let me oh, see if I, I got one more here. Oh. Oops. <clears throat> I have to find another one. Uh, in every neighborhood all across the country, there are good people insisting on a good start for the young and doing something about it. And that's really about across the country, all of us are committed to our children's health and our, our children's emotional well-being. Well, Phelan, I couldn't agree more. Thank you for coming. 
And I've had a great time with you, and I always enjoy playing with the various <laughs> toys which you bring. That's, that, and, and that's exactly and, what we want you to do. <laughs> and for you out there, if you can, become, become some of these thousands of people who go to ECHO. You'll have a good time. Thank you for coming, Phelan. Thanks, Kay. Thank you for joining us on Conversations with Kay.